churches you already know. Five and six. It says, and when his disciples were come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. Then Jesus said unto them, take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Read seven. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, Is it because we have taken no bread? We're going to stop reading there. I want to use for thought. Watch the outside influences. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Watch the outside. Sometimes they're on the inside. Well, well. Influences. Yeah. Not too long ago, I was sitting at the computer. I was looking up something. And in a short while, the computer began to beep. Mm. It stopped. And a message came on the computer that a virus had been detected. Mm -hmm. And you need to call the technicians in order to get the virus removed. I just simply turned the computer off, turned it back on because I already have protection on the computer. Mm -hmm. But that virus infected or attempted to uh -huh. Uh -huh. infect the computer. Yeah. And as a protective mechanism, the computer shut down. Uh -huh. I come to let you all know tonight that if we're not careful, well, well, the way things look and all the symptoms verify that there's a good chance, good chance. the church has been infected. Amen. 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 There's an infection. In the church. Well, well. <laughs> and that infection will influence all the impulses <laughs> of the church, of the yes, body. Sir. Yes, sir. Come on, preacher. Come on. <laughs> oh, yes. Fix it up. Oh, yes. Infection can't live on its own. Well, well. Right. <laughs> it needs a living. Oh, yes, sir. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. I know yes, we got sir. some medical people mm, here. Mm. It will attach itself uh -huh. to vital organs mm. yeah. and has the potential to cause them to shut down. Am I? Are y'all with me here? Come on. Yes, sir. Infection is like Yeast mm -hmm. in bread. Yes, sir, man. Come on, man. Don't y'all know that fix it, yeast yeah, fix it. comes from mold? Come on. Yes, sir. Mildew? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> it is an infection yes, agent yeah. that when it put to dough, uh -huh. It'll start developing something yes, until yes, it yes, make yes. the bread rise. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. In other words, the infection is the invasion of microorganisms. That means you can see them with your natural eye. Yeah. But they produce toxins. Oh, yeah. That damage the tissues and interfere with normal functions. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm talking about infection now. Preach, the devil mm -hmm. 
The devil's plan is to infect the church. Yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yes, and how the devil infects the church, the devil will, 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 will cause sin to enter among the members of the church. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the reason is so that it won't have power and will lose its credibility yes, concerning Christ and salvation. Yes, That's why you can't straddle the fence. Well, you can't straddle the fence. Because when you straddle the fence, then you don't have no credibility. Your witness don't have no power behind it. And the church needs to operate with power. It takes Holy Ghost power to break yokes. It takes Holy Ghost power to set the bond is free. It takes Holy Ghost power to set the captives free and deliver them from captivity. It takes God's power. Yes, sir. But when infection say it has the propensity and the tendency to bring everything to a halt. And you can tell when infection has entered into the church. Folks don't love each other like they supposed to. Oh, right. Lord, have mercy. It becomes a burden to work in the church when infections set in. And, and most of the way you can tell is you look at the choir. Well, yeah. yes, sir. All right. yes, sir. The choir is usually the first indication well, well. that infection has set in. Because now they can't get along. Come on, well, man. Well, Folks talking about I'm quitting. Yeah. 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 The chaos. Folks stop coming to rehearsals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they stand up on Sunday morning and wonder why God is not moving. Well, 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 well. well. All right. <laughs> Infection set in. Infection is little parasites uh -huh. that you cannot see. But they come and present themselves within the body. And before you realize it, you are already showing the symptoms. You remember how you loved on last Sunday, but this Sunday you don't like each other. Oh, Lord, that's a good sign um, that infection has set in. And here we have to be careful. Come on, man. Because infection can do a whole lot of damage. Isn't that right? Are y'all are y'all praying with me? It can do a whole lot of damage. A lot of folks have died because of infection. Infection occurs when viruses or bacteria or microbes enter the body and began to multiply. This is going to work, y'all, so y'all just keep praying. And disease occurs when all the cells in your body are damaged as a result of the infection. Oh, how many folks have been hurt in the church? How many folks have been abused in the church? How many folks have been misused in the church? That's a true sign that somewhere the infection has set in. I look at our congregation. And I know they probably look at me and wonder when the church is on a high. Why is Pastor just sitting there? But well, I gotta watch and see where the devil is. Yeah, because while while they jumping around and while they're shouting, I gotta make sure that I keep my eyes on the devil. <laughs> Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, because the devil will shout too. The devil will clap his hands like you clap your hands. The devil will even test the lie in God's house. Oh, Lord, have mercy. He'll do everything that you do to make himself feel like he's one of you. The symptoms 
you feel during an infection, usually around in the form of fever, mm. headaches, mm. Well. and rash. Mm. Uh -huh. And these are the result, mm. an indication of your immune system uh -huh. trying to fight off the infection. Yes, oh, y'all, y'all yes, pray. Y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. y'all, y'all pray. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. 
that's killing the church. And if you fire, you'll be having a funeral for your church because it ain't going to do nothing but die. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Oh, well, pray with me here. It's going to die. A lot of these doctrines came because somebody got a man over there and decided we're just going to start our own over here. Oh, y'all, y'all better pray with me. Come on, man. And, and, and now, they want you, if you don't walk the line, they'll excommunicate you. But I'm like Jonah. They say, go ahead and throw me overboard. Yeah. Because I have. Yeah. I got to hide in place. <laughs> you can't stop me. Well. Doctor Jesus was telling me to beware yeah. of the doctrine uh -huh. of the Pharisees yeah. and of the Sadducees. Uh -huh. And they didn't quite understand right. what Jesus was saying. But Jesus let them know because they, they are hypocrites. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Are y'all praying with me? You see, when, when infections set in, folks lose sight of who God is. Right. And they think it's okay to slip and slide in the nighttime hours. And they forget that King Jesus is watching. That God never God never sleeps. They forget that God remembers even when others forget. Jesus said that they were hypocrites. For he said that nothing shall be covered that will not, not be covered. There's nothing covered that will not be revealed. Or here and that will not be made known. Somebody ought to pray that. Say that whatever you have said in the dark shall be heard in the light. And whatever you have whispered in private room yes, sir. Yes, sir. shall be proclaimed yes, sir. on the housetop. Yes, sir. But look at what Jesus was saying in the word. And that the leaven even though it's symbolic mm -hmm. to yeast in bread. Uh -huh. The leaven in the church is the attitude. Yes, sir. Lord yes, sir. have mercy. Yes, sir. You see, there are some folks in the church that just don't have the right attitude concerning godly things. Well, well. They'll talk about the preacher. Well. They'll scandalize the Sunday school teacher. Yes, they don't like nothing that's going on all because they don't have their in the wrong attitude. Yeah. And when your attitude is wrong, then it will mess up your perspective. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you can't understand because you're looking at it from the eyes of the faith. You're looking at it from, from your, your carnal mind and you can't understand it because what you're trying to understand is spiritually yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Then, when your perspective is off, mm -hmm. then your perception well, is off. Well, mm -hmm. You can't perceive mm -hmm. what God is trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah mm -hmm. asked this famous question mm -hmm. Is there no bomb? In Gilead, uh -huh. no physician there. Why then has the health of the daughter of my people been restored? Yeah. For the brokenness mm -hmm. of my daughter, mm -hmm. I am broken. Uh -huh. Jeremiah mourned, and the Bible says dismay had taken hold of him. Yeah. Because he had got disgusted that the condition of the people had gotten so bad. Let me tell you something. When the condition of the people get bad, if there is no word from the church, the people will suffer in their agony. There has to 
be a word from the Lord. There has to be an answer from God. There has to be. It's no wonder that, that we don't expect God to heal the sick. Folks should not leave, come into God's house and leave in the condition that they came in. Even if nothing but a will to go on anyhow. You see, you got to learn that God is real. God is not one that we should play with. People wounded sit in our pews. Those, some wounded from sin. Some wounded because they're broken. And we as the children of God are still sitting idly back while people suffer. But the real question is that we should be asking is how can the people of God when we know all about God, uh -huh. when we have God in our view, uh -huh. how can the people of God be so sinful? Well, this is why we need a revival. Uh -huh. We need a revival to bring us back to God. Yes, we need a revival that's going to energize us. Yeah. We need a revival yeah. that's going to renew our minds. Yeah. We need a revival yeah. to understand that in God I'm a new creature. Yeah. All things are passed away. Uh -huh. We need a revival yeah. just to let the world know uh -huh. that I'm not under the influence of alcohol. Yeah. I'm not under the influence of drugs. Yeah. I'm not under the influence yeah. of of sin but I've been infected by the Holy Ghost I've been sanctified justified filled with the Holy Ghost If the light is not where it ought to be, if God is not the priority of your life, you need to use that bond, that bond of Gilead, when it's applied to your weakness, when it's applied to your sorrow, when it's applied to your captivity, that bond.
got everything Amen. you need. Amen. Parents, we need to put our children on the altar. Stop fussing at them. Because they're drug addicts, alcohol drinkers, call their users. It's time to put them on the altar and keep on praying until something comes through. God will hear and answer prayer. But you sometimes you gotta labor in prayer. You gotta stay there like Jacob did. Lord, I'm gonna hold on to you. I'm gonna keep right on calling your name. I refuse to give up. I refuse to let go until you bless me. I won't be satisfied until you bless me. Oh, I Yeah. The Lord has blessed me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.